All right, Shalom, Makim, this is your brother Karab from GMS Miami. First and foremost, want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rechah which is to say the name of the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit in the ancient Hebrew. I want to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, the top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. And I want to send out a hearty Shalom to all the sincere brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives doing so in efforts of waking up the hopefully elect of the nation of Israel. And Shalom to the sisters that subscribe as well. Okay, and now um, this lesson is, um, you know, pretty much I haven't figured out what I'll title it, but what I want to go into is that um, um, our whole walk in this faith, man, is, uh, is, uh, is a work in progress, okay? And um, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going to title it. A work in progress, you see, and um, you know what that entails is that man, look, we're not going to be the men that we want to be, okay, until uh, Lord willing, we're redeemed, you know, of the Heavenly Father and His Son, you know. So, um, the mindset behind our walk, man, um, of course, it, it needs to be balanced, okay, but um. You you have to understand that you're gonna go off, okay? Which we do, you know. It's it's, it's pretty much um, the the um, the understanding of the foundation of of our walk, man, is that we're gonna go off, okay? Now, are we to be complacent about going off? Absolutely not, man. Okay, and the right spirit is if you go off, okay, you you absolutely you know <laughs> you absolutely hate yourself, man, for doing so. Okay, it should never be a time where you go off and you're like, you know, uh, whatever, you know, because uh, that would entail you being a sinner. Okay, and, and, and ultimately you're doing it willfully and not repentful and not remorseful, you know. Okay, but I say that to say, um, you know, although we, you know, because we, we are our worst enemy, you know, we beat ourselves down for going off, you know, and we should, you know. But the balance in it is, is look, we're a work in progress, okay? And I'm pretty sure that's the case from the elder apostle uh, uh, to heart on down, okay, to the latest brother to join the fold, you see? Because um, if we were able to perfect this thing, okay, um, then that would, then we would, we would <laughs> be able to uh, obtain spiritual powers and just, you know, fly right on out of here okay but that ain't the case that ain't the case okay um the most high has to continue to work on us okay to be those creature the creatures that uh he, he set out for us to be okay and ultimately you know that entails us being delivered you know so that's the balance in it you know when you go off you you should you should feel some type of way man you know you should feel some type of way about yourself and uh, what that ultimately does is it, it corrects you, okay? And um, and efforts of you not doing that anymore. You see, and that's the that's the mindset behind going off. But yet and still, you know, don't 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 put yourself on the cross. You see, don't crucify yourself. Don't don't um, you know beat yourself down to, you know, ultimately you fall out of this thing, man. And there's a plethora of scriptures that speak on it, you know, not being condemned in your sins. You see? Because the understanding is we we need a savior, okay? We need to be saved from ourselves, first and foremost, and we need to be delivered, okay, from the wrath of the Heavenly Father, which for the most part will be played out through Esau Edom, man, who is the sword of the Heavenly Father, Okay? Um, yeah, so through the spirit, I'm going to just uh, bring out a few precepts just to edify that, man. You know, we're a work in progress, brothers. Don't get too low on yourself, too, you know, don't get too low on yourself because it's detrimental, you see? But also, you know, uh, learn from your mistakes at the same time. Uh, let's see what I want. Yeah, let's go here. Yeah, let's start with Ephesians chapter 2 and we'll start... Uh, uh, Start at eight, Ephesians 2 and 8. It says, For by grace 
are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of the Most High. Verse 9, not of works, lest any man should boast. You see? And that's really what simplifies this thing, man. Understanding that we're saved through our faith, you know? And it's, it was, it's not of ourselves. We didn't receive faith because we wanted it, you know? We didn't get faith because we went to the store and, you know, pay, <laughs> paid uh, $100, $100 for it, you know? This is ultimately a gift because the things that we believe in, man, we sound bugged out for, but it's in the scriptures. You know, it's in the Bible, but yet and still it, it takes that gift of faith. OK. Um, and then ultimately uh, being saved by grace, man, the heavenly father, Lord willing. Uh, we endure to the end, man, and we receive his graces, man. It, it, that is the only reason we were delivered. You know, it's nothing that we did. Okay, because uh, the Heavenly Father knows his people, man. He knows his people and that they can get proud. And we see instances of, or cases of that in this truth, man. You know, guys uh, thinking themselves to be something when they are nothing. You know, and uh, next thing you know, they, they, they're teaching their own doctrine. Okay, remixing all the scriptures. You see? Verse 9 it says, not of works, lest any man should boast. Verse 10, for we are his workmanship. Created in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai unto good works, which the Most High have before ordained that we should walk in them. Okay, so that simplifies everything, man. Okay, we are the Heavenly Father's workmanship. Okay, so you're not gonna you're not gonna get it all the way on this side. You're not gonna, you know, you're not gonna know everything. Okay, now as a body as a whole, we have hundred percent truth, but individually, you're not gonna you're not gonna perfect this thing, man. Okay. You're not going to be the top guy. We already have a top guy, you know, and he's he's a part of the Heavenly Father's workmanship. You see, and like I say, that takes a lot of the pressure off. But at the same time, it shouldn't uh, let a level of complacency set in. OK, because that's detrimental to your walk in the faith. OK, and when you when you put the two together, that creates balance. And understanding that, man, the Heavenly Father is in absolute control here. Okay. Um, yeah, let's go to Romans. Let's go to Romans. Romans 8 and let's see. I started 18, Romans 8 and 18. It says, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Verse 19 is the point. It says, For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of the Most High. Okay? And let's go into manifestation here. Matter of fact, let's go into earnest expectation. Strong's G603, Apakaradakia. Apakaradakia. It's G603, and it means anxious and persistent expectation. You see? Okay. Now let's go back. Um, Okay, it says uh, Romans eight nineteen for the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of the Most High. Okay, and who are the sons of the Most High? Okay, Israel. Okay, and more specifically, the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay, so the manifestation of us becoming, uh, you know, back into our state that we were. Okay, the, our first estate. Okay. Um, but it, uh, in, in this case, being, uh, what is the word, uh, extraterrestri extraterrestrial, okay? Meaning having celestial powers and being terrestrial, okay? But the whole creation is waiting for that, okay? Why? Because the, the world is out of whack, you know? But the point is that the creature or the creation, okay? Meaning everything, man, you know, is waiting for the sons of, of the most high to be back in their proper lot, okay, which is rapidly approaching, okay, but that would entail that there's a process, you see, there's a process of us becoming 
you know, the sons of the most high. OK, in the lot that he will have us in. OK, because ultimately the sons of the most high are going to get the whole earth in order. OK, they will be the governing body, the government of the universe. You see, and uh, like the scriptures say, when the when the wicked rule, the people mourn. But then the righteous bear of rule, the people rejoice. OK, and that's the reason why they're waiting for the manifestations of the sons of the most high. You see, verse 20 says for the cre uh, creature was made subject to vanity, not willing, but by reason of him who have subjected the same in hope. OK, and that ultimately that's the heavenly father. And it just entails that it's his story. It's his pro uh, it's his uh, movie. OK, and this is the process that we had to go through. OK, to 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 inherit that that lot that he had planned out for us from the beginning. You see, but like I said, that would entail that we're, we're a work in progress, man. The most High has to mold us into being that, you know. He could have just created us like that straight out the gate, but he didn't. Okay, and then we're finding out the reasons why, you know, because he has a plan, you know, for for, uh, for you know for the sons of God and and how he wants this thing to play out, and and of course it's going to play out exactly how he created it. Uh, let's see, Ephesians. Let's go to Ephesians. Ephesians four. Is Ephesians 4 and 11. It reads, um, well, I started here. Ephesians 4 and 10. It says, He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens that he might fill all things. Okay, and that's speaking of your house, shot. Verse 11, and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. Verse 12, the point. For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Hamashiach. Okay, so all of those things, you know, the apostles, uh, uh, the work of the ministry. I mean, Salakia, the prophets, the evangelists, and pastors and teachers. All of these things were uh, set up for what? The perfecting, the perfecting of the saints. Let's look at this word perfecting. Strong's G, 2677, Katartismas, Katartismas. Okay, that's G, 2677, and it reads, complete furnishing, equipping. You see? Let's read that again. It says, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Hamashiach. Okay? So that entails, look, there's a process. OK, and all of these things had to come together. OK, which would entail the workmanship of the Heavenly Father. OK, for the manifestations of the sons of the Most High. OK. And the point I'm hitting at is, hey, you know, look, brothers, enjoy the process, you know, enjoy the process and keep the faith. You have to keep the faith no matter because look, it's a hey, uh, uh, the Apostle Paul said it, man. I have learned to abound. And to be a base in his faith, man. Okay? Which also entails what? Balance. Like the scriptures say, give me poverty uh, 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 nor riches. You see? And, that, and that's the that's the overlying uh, uh, tone when you're dealing with the scriptures, especially with our walk in his faith. You're not going to always be on the, uh, on the up and up, you know? You're not going to always be in the spirit to do three videos a day. Or two videos a day, you know? That's that's just not how the Heavenly Father set it up, man. Okay? He wants us to endure all things. Okay? Endure hardness. You know? You're going to have to go through certain things. You're going to have to fall on your face, man. You know? Matter of fact, let me get that. You know? You're going to have to... Hey, it's it's a roller coaster, man. You know? But the uh, the, the, the importance is to enjoy it, man. Enjoy it, because that shows that he's dealing uh, dealing with us as sons and not bastards. You see, this is Proverbs 24 and 16. It says, for a just for a just man falleth seven times and rises up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. You see, but a just man falleth seven times, meaning a complete number of times, man. However that may be, okay? You might get into it with a brother, you know? You might say some words that you, you didn't mean, you know? You might break something down wrong, 
Okay, you might get stiffly rebuked. You know, you might go off. You know, commit sin. You know, but get the point is get back up, man. Get back up. That all of these things uh, were written. The things that we go through in life. Okay, uh, the trials and tribulations we're going through. They were written. Okay, the scriptures speak about those who came out of great tribulation. You see. And that's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. And that's ultimately, that's what the Heavenly Father is, is, is going to do with everybody, man. He's going to try. All flesh shall be tried. Okay? But the difference is, we have we have help. We have a succor, man. Okay? First and foremost, Yahweh by Shem Shah and the brotherhood. Okay? But the point is, this is a work in progress, man. You know, we just got to keep, you know, being faithful. And allowing the Heavenly Father to work his work, man. You know, and if we do that and stay out his way, then, hey, the scriptures say we should never fail, man. We're going to be delivered, you know. And we have, and we got to be confident about, uh, confident about that as well, man. Okay. Back to Ephesians 4 and... Uh, Let's start back at 11, Ephesians 4, 11. He said he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. Verse 12, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry. You see that word work again, the work of the ministry. OK, this thing just didn't culminate. Well, it did. It, it's, it's culminating, but it didn't just happen. You see, there was work had, that had to be put in, you know, going all the way back to Elder Abba Bivens. Okay, work was put in so that the ministry could be to the point that it's at, at now, at least for this modern era. But ultimately, it's been going on since the beginning of time. You see? Um, verse 13. Till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of the Most High, unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the statue of the fullness of Hamashiach. You see? So it's showing you that process that has to take place and will take place. OK, and our job is to remain faithful. OK, and endure and endure all things for the uh, elect's sake, like the scriptures say. OK, we get one more. And we'll close out. Um, where is it? Romans. Romans chapter three. Um, We'll start at 20, Romans 3 and 20. It says, therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. Verse 21. But now the righteousness of the most high without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. OK, verse 22. Even the righteousness of the most high, which is by faith of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, Unto all and upon all them that believe, for there is no difference. Verse 23, verse, and here's the point. It says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of the most high. You see? So that's the point, man. We've all sinned. We've all gone off, okay? But who, who's going to be redeemed? Who's going to be redeemed? Those, okay, who, who are not condemned in their, in their sins and who don't let their sins weigh them down. You see, it says, um, verse 24, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. You see, so it's all about grace. OK, it ain't about works. So you're going to go off, you know, you're going to go off. You're going to fall flat on your face, but get up and don't fall into mischief, man. You know, OK, I got one more. Got one more. Yeah. One more. Yeah. It's the second Ezra 16 and, and I started uh, 74, second Ezra 16 and 74. It says here, O ye, my beloved, say of uh, Yahweh by Shem Shai, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Verse 75, be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the most high is your God. Verse 76, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith Yahweh by Shem Shai, let not your sins weigh you down and let not 
your iniquities lift up themselves. Okay? So yeah, brothers, you know, it's all in the scriptures. We're gonna go off. But don't 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 let it weigh you down, man. Don't let it weigh you down. Okay, we got hope and we have to keep that faith. That faith in who? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay, which was given to us as a gift. Okay. Because ultimately we're gonna be delivered if if we are part of that number, okay, we're gonna be delivered by the graces of the Heavenly Father. Okay. So just keep working. You know, and, and, and be repentful when you do go off. And, you know, just stay faithful, brothers. Just stay faithful. Okay. So, Lord willing, that was.